again. It's only been a few minutes since I was doing a, a video. I just finished up the the head-to-head -head comparison of my Van Gogh Visconti and my Pen BBS 308. And after I finished doing that, I went out to the mailbox and I was surprised that this package was there. I didn't expect it uh, until next week. But uh, here it is, another Chinese fountain pen. I think I know what this one is, and I think this one is Chris Rapp's fault for doing a review of this pen. As soon as I saw the review, I had to get it right away. So I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing here, and we will do it in fast motion so you don't have to watch. And it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. This is uh, my second new Moon Man box. The other one was the C1, the clear demonstrator, which I'm really, really enjoying. And this one is, let's see, pull out the drawer, and what is it? Yeah, the drawer doesn't want to open. Wow. It's upside down in there. There we go. And this is the Moon Man M6. And I asked Bobby to throw in a medium point because I always like to swap out the fine ones for the medium ones. But with the last pen I just got, the Pen BBS, then fine nib is the one I've decided to go with. So you never know, sometimes there's surprises. Let's get this out of here and out of its condom. Sticky. Yeah, sticky stuff. Six. Beautiful wood finish. This is the first wooden pen I've ever had. And it's uh, fairly large. Uh, I like the larger pens, so I'm hoping that I enjoy this one. It's a nice uh, finish. It isn't as uh, covered with uh, polyester as I thought it was going to be. It is shiny, so they've sealed the wood, but they've left it rather thin, so you can actually feel the texture of the pen. Looks like a nice clip. There's a good spring to it. And it has those letters, Moon Man, engraved, or I think it's laser. You can't engrave wood like that, that precisely, without doing it with a laser. With a laser. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It uncaps very nicely. Let's try it. One. One. I'll do it again. Yep, exactly one turn. And there's the nib. It's got the Moon Man Mountain on it and the Moon Man logo. And then it says Moon Man and an F. The difference between this one and the C1 is the C1 didn't have a two-tone on it. This one has gold on the top and silver on the bottom. It is a cartridge converter. Fits in that section very nice and tight. Metal section on metal threads. Where it seems to work. Feels very nice. 
it's about the same size as my PBS that I was just it's got in my shirt here because I've been using it every moment I can. So a little bit girthier, but they both have that number six nib, which I really like those larger nibs. But it feels about the same in a hand as this one. But uh, of course this 308 is a lot lighter. Let's see if it posts. Yeah, it posts on there, but it doesn't feel like it should because it wiggles around. And with that being non-reinforced wood, and with the grain, wood splits very easily. So I, I wouldn't recommend posting it. It uh, does make it a, a back-weighted pen. This is much more comfortable. So, a little early surprise. My M6, I'll clean it out and uh, ink it up. And we'll do some weights and measures and do a little writing sample and maybe some other pen comparisons. And we'll go from there. All right, I'm back after uh, cleaning the pen out with a little bit of soap and water and drying it all up um, and doing some measurements as well. So this is the Moonman M6 and the uh, dimensions are the length is 140.22 millimeters unposted the pen is 124.38 millimeters and posted if you ever want to do that it is a lengthy 100 and oh yeah, I have to do some math here it's 155.36 millimeters Plus, uh, my caliper didn't go that large, so another seven. So that's uh, that's two. So we're looking at three. So 163. Let's call that rounded out. 163 millimeters. Posted. The section is 23 millimeters from there to there, and it is. 11.7 millimeters at the thickest end of the plastic section and 10.95 at the smallest end of the plastic section. It seems to go straight down. There is no concaveness to this um, section at all. The body width goes from right here 13.89 millimeters down to the very tip of course it goes all the way here but I measured about there and it's 6.67 about there 6.67 millimeters the cap goes from 15.57 millimeters in diameter there to of course it's a rounded cap that I measured to almost the tip and it's 6.7 millimeters. The weights of this pen overall this is without ink 26 grams unposted it is 16 grams and the cap weighs 10 grams. Of course you'd add in the weight of the ink to your writing. Now, I did receive a second nib and feed from Bobby. And that looks like a typical Moon Man kind of fit. I've uh, taken the nib out of the section. It just unscrews, just like other Moon Men. Plural Moon Man. Oh, I didn't dry it as much as I thought I did. Well, of course, the converter is still attached. There we go. Let me get a Kleenex. 
this here. There. So that's just friction fit in there. So I just uh, pull that this way, holding the shoulders using my little rubber mat and the whole feed and nib the uh, section will pull out of that uh, assembly and I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to give this moon man nib this fine one a try so we'll screw that back down and while we've got it apart let's put some ink in the converter so the ink I've chosen for this is Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. I love this uh, ink bottle. And these are relatively cheap compared to Orochizuku inks. The Mont Blanc are very affordable for a lot of ink. This is 60 milliliters of ink here. And this was like 20 bucks or something like that. So that's uh, excellent. I'm going to use my handy syringe for this and the way I do it bring the piston all the way down here get your ink bottle open for first time fills I will suck up a bunch of ink put the needle down inside and just fill it until I get to almost the top there and that won't come out sometimes you can take the rest of that ink and you can put it in the little feeder hole right there and fill up the, uh, the feed with ink or you can put the converter back on and dip the tip rather than waiting for it. So I'm gonna see whether I can do this without spilling it all over the place. I'm just gonna put a, yeah, I spilled it. Yeah, I think I'll dip instead. There, let's spread the rest of that ink. Clean up the little mess I made. Got a nice color on there anyway. There we go. Finding things around the camera here is difficult. There we go. So, push that on. Screw that back together again before we have another accident. Put the ink away. And my pen is full of ink and the feed is primed. So I'm going to do a little bit of a writing sample here. Um, but first, before we do that, let's just take a look at some comparables. Here's the M6. Here's the Pen BBS 308 that I just got a couple of days ago. Here's my Van Gogh. Visconti, and here is a Wing Sung 3008. There's some comparables for you. I'm going to shift my angle and do a writing sample. This is the Moon Man. M6. It is the fine nib. And the ink. Is Mont Blanc. Toffee Brown.
So far it's very smooth. And very wet. Yep, very nice. Yep. So it's a bit of writing here. Well, that's very pleasurable. I'm, again, surprised by a fine nib. That uh, is a very pretty nib with the Crescent Moon, Moon Man uh, breather hole on it and the two-tone. Um, I don't know that I want to swap this. I'm thinking that I'm going to write with this for a while with the fine uh, it's feeling very comfortable, very nice in the hand, very smooth on the paper. This is Rhodia Dot Pad. And uh, as always, and that's all she wrote.